Lucas Media. So we got some news coming from Say Cheese and Charleston White. They just did another epic interview. Of course, of course, I'm gonna break down certain things that I've seen. And you know, one of the things that Charleston White talked about is how he never tried pills. He says that uh, he never tried pills, but he tried ecstasy, which a lot of people have done. He's saying that hard drugs have never been a black culture thing. And it was the rappers that introduced it. You know, for instance, the syrup and you know the mollies and Perkins, all those different things that you hear in the music. And even like going back to the syrup, we never uh, syrup was always a down south thing, right? I'm from the midwest and growing up there as a kid you never heard of syrup but around the late 90s i started hearing a lot about it <laughs> and me at the time i'm so young i'm thinking they talking about aunt jemima or whatever even with the whole grill thing right uh you see people introduce grills as charleston white said grills growing up was a new orleans thing from what i remember new orleans people from new orleans florida those type of places always wore grills i didn't see people with at the midwest wearing grills like that as soon as nelly and them dropped grills i think grills came out in 05 when that came out, everybody started getting grills. Even my little nephew at the time, who was in second grade, wanted a grill. And he's just saying that everything that we know, different champagne bottles and all of that comes from the rappers. And he also believes that people take Percocets knowing that they fake. So let me just break this down a little bit of some of the stuff that he said. As far as hard pills being a, a black culture thing, as far as taking pills like Percocets and all these other different type of pills, yeah, that wasn't really a... A black thing now me being born in the 80s of course you came from the crack ec epidemic but you never really seen people talk about taking pills popping pills like you do now like i said even talking about a little bit again about the whole syrup thing you never heard people talk about sipping syrup like that but now you see even famous people like justin bieber start sipping syrup and when he started sipping syrup that's when it became you know more harder to get but a lot of people were sipping syrup. Lil Wayne, Bow Wow. Bow Wow talked about his struggles with sipping syrup. Soldier Boy, Boosie. And you heard a lot of it in people's music, you know. But he is telling the truth. I mean, Lil Wayne did start having the double cups. But 3 Six Mafia was sipping on some syrup. Like, he had, they had all of that back in the 90s. So, yeah, all of that is being introduced. Even when we talking about bottles, right? Like Charleston White said, the Moets, the Chris Styles, all of those were introduced by rappers. When you see videos back in the day, what you see? somebody opening up a refrigerator you see nothing but Chris style so of course me being a, a young kid I'm thinking that that's what you're supposed to do think about it Air Force Ones Nelly personally brought back Air Force Ones before you could get Air Force Ones at a magazine for what $59.99 once he came out with Air Force Ones not only did they sell out but Nike raised the price by $20 at least that's how much influence that that these rappers do have so I do agree with Charleston White on that even like Iceberg and all these different clothes these are came in by the rappers. What's what's the guy name? Lil Pump came out with Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. Lil Dirk talk make songs about Gucci. So of course that makes people want to go buy it. But this just shows you how much power that these a lot of these rappers have, and how unfortunately it's not being used to our advantage like it was in the 80s like it was in the 90s where yeah you heard certain music but you still heard music like dear mama gotta keep your head up you don't hear those type of songs no more and honestly even personally i never understood hard drugs that's never been something that i could get into especially when i come up from a family with a bunch of addicts in the 80s i don't understand how can people do it but again you gotta understand that the music that's being pumped in when we were coming up or a lot of us were coming up that's listening to this we all we heard was about people being drug dealers so if everybody's drug dealers then at some point the next generation is going to probably be drug users but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it i agree with most of what charleston white was saying but tell me what y'all think